Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a list view and a list view is a little bit different than the other lists that we've been creating because first of all it's not a drop down. You're going to have a list in a fixed area and if your items are bigger than that then you're going to have one of these little bars on either the right hand side or the bottom. So another thing that or another reason that it's different is unlike a drop down list where you can only select one item from the list whenever you have a list view you can select multiple items so it's kind of like selecting files on your computer where you can like select multiple items or just one of them and let me just run this real quick and show you guys where we're starting so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to create a simple list view and whenever you click this button print it out on the screen so and this is actually really similar to a combo box so list view boom look at that store some strings in there not string certain alright string and we'll just name it list view now under the button we can create it right here list view and set this equal to new list view now the easiest way to add items to your list view is just write to list view get items no matter if you're just adding items in there for the first time or it already has items in it like we said before add all and whenever you do this you can add multiple items at a time so I'll say like Iron Man oh what's another one Titanic um, by the way did you guys ever see the movie Contact um, actually, I actually don't know I'm pretty sure that's what it's called it has Jodie Foster in it awesome awesome movie it's about like uh, you know these aliens send down uh, this like machine and they want humans to communicate with them sounds bet <laughs> it's better than I explain it trust me so by the way another movie surrogates where uh, these people have like a thing plugged into their back of the head and they can like control just just watch it it's awesome I, I'm terrible at a uh, <laughs> what if that was like the voice to a trailer oh man that would be awful alright so anyways we created a list view and we added four movies to it and then after this what you can do is you can actually set the selection model now by default you can only select one of these items in this case one movie but what if you want to be able to select multiple movies maybe you're making like a Netflix app and the user selects what movies they want sent to their house well they can either choose one or maybe they want four movies sent to their house at a time so the first thing you need to do is get the selection model before you can edit it and then hey how'd you get down there buddy okay cursor and set selection mode and if you want to select multiple ones you just use selection mode multiple so let me just add this to the screen real quick and I'll show you guys what that just did so again there is our list view again it's not a drop down menu and of course if we had um, more items for example if we had like a dozen items and it was longer or bigger than this box then we would have a little um, scroll bar on the right hand side but check this out anytime you want to select one item just click it anytime you want to select multiple ones you can click it hold down control and click another one and of course anytime you want to select a range of items just click it hold down shift and select all the items in that range so just like we're working with you know basically any computer and just so uh, I show you guys how to handle these items a little bit more room here I'll say uh, whenever we click the button just print out whatever items we have selected and it's a little bit tricky because you just can't say print out this item you don't know how many items the user has selected do they have one do they have a dozen so I'll show you guys how to handle that little tricky bit of logic and we'll just build a method called button clicked <clears throat> private void button clicked and that's how we do it and we don't need to pass anything in because we declared our list view up there so we can just reference it down here All right so string message will be the message that I'm gonna print out in the terminal 
Now remember, all of the lists that you work with in JavaFX are of type observable list. So what we can do is we, we can actually grab the items from here. In other words, we can grab whatever items the user selected, store them inside an observable list object, and then we can just do something cool like loop through them. So that's pretty handy. So now what we have to do is actually take movies and set it equal to list view, which was that list view that we just created that we saw on the screen. And in order to get the items that they selected, we need to get the selection model and get selected items. So this is going to return all of the items that they have selected. It might be one. It might be all four of them. We don't know. And we stored it inside the list movies. So now it's really easy. We just treat it like any kind of other, you know, pretty much an array, any kind of list. So we're going to take movies and loop through them all and treat each movie as M. And then we can just do something like for our message that we're going to print out. Um, I'll just say M plus, uh, like, I don't know, a new line. So this is pretty much just going to loop through each movie that the user selected. And one by one, it's going to store it inside the variable or the string message. And then we can just print it out in the terminal. So system out message. So that's that. Let's run it and check it out. All right. So I'm just going to select contact right now. Hit submit contact. Now what if I select Iron Man and surrogates? Prints out Iron Man surrogates. And of course you can select them all. And boom, look at that. So again, what we did is we created a really basic list view. And then whenever we click the button, we made a temporary observable list and it looked at our list view and saw, okay, you have these items selected. So I'm going to make a real quick loop and one by one, I'm going to add all of those movies to the message variable and print them out on the screen. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a really awesome list called a tree view. And it's essentially something like this where you can expand your options and you can have like multiple these are well I'll talk to you guys about the terminology in the next video so yeah it's gonna be cool see you then